I'm Logan Webster, newest Somerset County Teacher of the Year, and this is my daughter Delaney, and it's... Showtime! Showtime! Drum roll, please! The 2021 Somerset County Teacher of the Year is Mr. Logan Webster, Social Studies teacher, Crisfield Academy and High School. And there you have it. Congratulations to Logan and congratulations to all of the Teacher of the Year nominees in Somerset County. And we are happy to welcome Logan to Delmarva Life, fresh off his win last <laughs> night. First of all, we want to say congratulations. Yeah. So has it really hit you yet? Uh, it has not. Um, every day I drive to work for the last seven years, I've seen the billboards on the way to school that uh, has the current Somerset County Teacher of the Year there. Um, and I'm just blessed to know those individuals. I don't still even consider myself to be in the same category as them, but all of the texts and Facebook messages and everything have been overwhelming. Um, I joked with my wife last night that I'm going to need a new phone pretty soon because I have a pretty old iPhone. The battery drains anytime I do anything on it. So it was dead really quickly last night. Listen, we want to ask you, uh, when, last night you said thank you to Mr. Vickers. Who is Mr. Vickers? So Mr. Vickers was my 11th grade AP US history teacher. Uh, he just made everything exciting. He always had a smile on his face. I can remember to this day specific lessons where he connected the Wizard of Oz to the Gilded Age in US history. And I could tell that he was inspired and excited and motivated about it, that it just made me excited and motivated about it. He just went a step further always. Um, you know, he was always there to care for us. He always uh, wanted us to be the best we could be. When we were doing independent work, he would just kind of sit there and say, if you have questions, and I remember one day just walking up and saying, I have a question, and the excitement on his face just for <laughs> you have a question and, and want to talk to him was amazing. And so moments like that made me realize that this guy really loves what he does and that I wanted that same type of happiness that he has from his job. Wow. To me, it was, it was always really clear to everyone that took his class that it was not a job for him, but it was a lifestyle. And it was a lifestyle that I think I knew from that point forward in 11th grade that I wanted. And so I had my purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it about history that you love? So the thing that uh, it's, a, I mean, a pretty common saying, but history repeats itself. So I love watching my students make that connection between the past and present. And then I also primarily, I actually teach American government. Um, and so I'm someone who doesn't really share my political beliefs with anyone. And, and so I just love watching my students make their own decisions, their own judgments when it comes to these issues. But more importantly, I love showing my students the principles our country was built on and then kind of dividing and conquering as to ways that we're upholding it, yeah. ways that we're dividing it, and, and how they as you know citizens of the United States can affect that as well. So what's it like when they hit that light bulb moment of getting it? So the light bulb moment for me is it's I kind of go the cliche saying that it's, it's more than any paycheck or award could offer, but it's just so true. Yeah. Uh, as a struggling student understand a difficult concept or seeing a student make a connection between past and present. That's what it's all about. And kind of once you get that first moment with a student when whatever year it is in teaching and then when that continues it's just an amazing feeling and it's it kind of reminds you of why you're here ah oh, that is wonderful okay so on top of teaching you're also responsible for the school's andrea joiner memorial walk tell us about andrea so in my first year of teaching uh andrea was in my class uh, andrea joiner and and she um passed away in a tragic car accident in March. It, it was something for me that I had never experienced. You know, I had lost loved ones and everything, but I had never lost someone so young that I was, you know, having an effect on. So I knew from that time forward that, you know, she was my inspiration to continue onward and, and to keep teaching and to, you know, be the best I can be because it really struck me to see that empty desk there. And I never wanted to have that experience again. Um, and so, we decided that there has to be something to remember Andrea because while her life was so short, she did so much for the community and was such an important part of Crisfield Academy in high school. Uh, so we created the Andrea Joyner Memorial Walk through uh, the Student Government Association, which I uh, am honored to run. You know, it's something that I've been extremely proud of and particularly yeah. included in my bio because it's something that's it's it's so um, impactful to me. 
Well, I'll tell you what, Logan, thank you for doing that. That is huge. That is incredible. Now, last night, you also issued a challenge for other teachers all over Delmar, but we want to hear more about that challenge and, and talk about the impact that it can have on students. So hang out with us for here just a second, okay? Okay. All right. We are spending some time today with the 2021 Somerset County Teacher of the Year, Logan Webster. He's had the title for about 24 hours and now he has a challenge for other teachers all over Delmarva. Think of at least one student, maybe more, that you work with that needs some good news. Once you've thought of that student, grab a note card and write that student a handwritten note telling them using specific observations that you've seen from them, the greatness that you see in them. And we are happy to welcome Logan back with us again. Uh, so Logan, this is something you began several years ago. Yes, yeah, so uh, I think it started on Valentine's Day one year that uh, I just decided, you know what, let's let's jump in and, and I'll give you some good news and I want you to share it with the rest of your classmates and staff as well um, and made it an assignment. And then it evolved into something more. We had, I started doing it with my AP students right before the big AP exam as one kind of final push for encouragement. And then last year, I just put out a box of note cards in the back of my room and incentivized my students. Just write a nice note to your classmates or to a teacher because at the end of the day for me, it's one thing to say great job to a student or pull them aside and tell them how proud you are. And while that will probably stick for a while, maybe forever, uh, the handwritten note to me is just something that you can go back to, you can view and refer back to. And the thing that's been amazing to me, even when I was just named uh, Chris Field Teacher of the Year, is I had students reach out to me and said, you know, you gave me this note and I still have it and I still look at it daily, especially when I'm going through hard times. So it's important to you to make sure that every student is cared for, is loved, and is seen. Yes, yeah, so um, I felt like the first couple years of teaching, and I'm sure everyone that is in teaching can relate to this, I spent so much time obsessing over the curriculum and getting through it and are we going to have enough time to get through every topic? And any time that a student would bring up something that was off topic, I would stop it in its tracks and say, we're not gonna entertain that because I'm a young, impressionable, you know, new teacher that they're thinking, oh, we can get them off track anytime we want to. <laughs> uh, but then I realized that that was, that was the thing that was showing them that I cared and loved them and, and, you know, saw them, that they could have these outside of the curriculum conversations with me. And so, you know, that was one way that I showed that I cared and loved for them that, you know, we can have these conversations because I'm a human, you're a human, and I'm not just this robot that's here to teach you the curriculum. And then, you know, something else that it's all about building relationships for me. And I know that pretty much every teacher on, on the planet does this, but I do a, a personal questionnaire uh, at the beginning of the year about their particular interests. I keep those things in a binder. And when I'm having a particularly tough time with a particular student or I just know a student needs something from me, I'll tap into those little connections that I asked them to fill out in the beginning of the year. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, talking about a favorite TV show that they have or something that we have in common that interests us. Go into their sporting events or making note of, you know, when they have their permit driver's license test and sending them a good luck message. Um, you know, in my mind, students remember, and I've found because I experienced it myself, Remember the little things and the little things that teachers did for us and remembered. Um, and so that it, just for me is always a, an easy and simple way to show that we love wow. them, care for them and see them. That's wonderful. I love that. Okay. And of course we had the pandemic and I imagine you saw a change in your students during the pandemic. So tell us about that. So many of the students I teach in Somerset County have gone through, you know, so much um, already in their short lives. and. But I, I just think it's really important that through the pandemic, we take away the positives more than the negatives. There are just so many positives um, in how education has shifted and how it's opened up new opportunities for so many of our students. So, you know, I found that so many of our students have found remote learning and working from home, just it works better for them. You know, they have reduced distractions. And, and so I think we've tapped into something that's gonna help some of our students focus. Um, and then, I think that it's just been amazing to see the appreciation level that our students have had for teachers over the last year. That, you know, how hard we've been working and that we're, you know, learning as well and figuring it out. And then the other thing is so many of our students, have, I think during this time, they've had a lot of time to think about their, their life and, and where they want their path to go that, you know, a chance to slow down has actually afforded them the opportunity to kind of reflect on their path 
and you know figure out how they're ready to rise up from their former self and be better. I think we can see why he's Teacher of the Year. Uh, it's quite <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Logan Webster, thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon, and congratulations on your new title. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You betcha. <laughs> Stick around. Delmarva Life will be right back.